Welcome to the iSpring Solutions webinar series, where every week we talk about e-learning trends, share iSpring tips and tricks, and cover clients' cases. My name is Paulina. I'm the community manager at iSpring, and I will be the moderator of today's webinar. And today's session is dedicated to a really great topic, and we are going to talk about how e-learning can boost your business. And our today's presenter will cover seven issues e-learning can actually fix. And let's move on to our presenters directly. So first of all, we have with us Katie Connor, Customer Success Manager, and Natalie Taylor, Customer Success Manager as well. Hi, ladies. Happy to have you today. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, Paulina. I'm ready to pass the mic over to Natalie. Thank you, Paulina. OK, so there is no doubt uh, that employee training is a significant part of every business. People are the most powerful and irreplaceable resource, and it is vital to contribute to staff development. That is why today we're going to talk about e-learning as an effective way to train employees and new hires, plus provide refresher courses and conduct onboarding and compliance training in your company. Talking to so many human resources directors and managers, learning and development staff and training managers, and listening to their stories makes it so obvious that the way you deliver information to employees is very important. There are the challenges that HR and L&D trainers face quite often. So the business challenges. Why is the turnover increasing? We put so much effort into finding and recruiting new employees, but much of our efforts are in vain. Why is it so overwhelming and expensive to train new hires and conduct refresher courses? We spend so much money and time, but the outcome is debatable. Why don't we have any trackable data on new hire and refresher course performance? This could ease the ways to promotion. Why do new hires seem so disengaged and unmotivated? We are a respected company in the industry. Why don't new hires and long-term employees perform well during internal and external audits? Are my recruiting and training skills that bad? Why isn't the company documentation under control? It's overwhelming trying to keep it up to date and make sure everyone is using the same copy. And finally, why are there so many negative reviews on the company? We don't even work with these people. You see only why does it happen being asked and not how can I change it? Let me assure you that at least some of your questions will be answered during today's webinar. We want to be 100% clear about these challenges and how ignoring them can influence your company's success. Your power is in your people, and we all know that. So let's go. Staff turnover. This is about the number of people who leave the company due to whatever reason, poor onboarding or management or even personal issues. And in most cases, these ex-employees need to be replaced because there is still work to be done, of course. So high turnover rates directly impact the company's success. It may take a week or a few months to find the replacement. During this time period, the company is missing experienced and trained employees and specialists. The workload is increasing for other employees who stay with the company. And these all may result in a negative emotional climate in a department or a sub-department or even the company as a whole. And what do we do with recruiting and training costs? It's a matter of time and money. To realize revenue, we need to first invest. But what if these investments do not generate any revenue? That's quite disappointing and frustrating for sure. HR departments spend time and energy finding employees. And as we know, the recruiting process may take weeks and months and even years. Training them, communicating with them, and supporting them during the trial period. That's a huge amount of time, and time is money. As for training costs, of course, it depends on the industry and the company 
it depends on the industry the company is in and skill sets required for this industry, whether you need to hire third-party trainers, purchase another set of equipment, or no equipment at all. These factors vary, but the logic is the same. Step by step, we're moving to the next cha uh, challenge, knowledge checks and assessment. No matter what kind of training, be it onboarding or compliance, employees' knowledge has to be assessed. HR and L&D departments, uh, department directors need to understand if the information presented to employees has been digested well. Knowledge assessment is the way to evaluate and measure an employee's learning progress and skill acquisition. Identify knowledge gaps and make adjustments to the learning program, if necessary, of course. And last but not least, it's important to provide employees with, with feedback. They have to know how well they perform in their current position. Let's keep going. The way to deliver information and share knowledge is another key point here. No doubt, diligent employees completely understand why it's vital to complete trainings, to perform well in the position, to get a raise, or to get promoted. Research fi uh, findings allow us to understand the data presented in a more visualized manner with interactive elements significantly increases the level of human perception. It's engaging and not boring. Going through lots of papers, PDF files and, or spreadsheets is the last thing a new hire would like to experience during the first day or week in the company. Believe it or not, visualization of data plays a great role. Okay, so what are we going to do with objective company examinations called audits? Every business has to prove the quality of services and products provided to the market, and external audits and certifications can help with that. However, in most cases, it's a headache to get prepared for an audit if you are not sure that your employees are well trained. That's why some companies organize internal audits to simulate real certifications and identify employees' knowledge gaps. This process requires time and effort and needs to be automated, both for new hires and refresher training. Paperwork is also a big challenge. Company rules and regulations are important. It's vital for every business to keep documentation up to date to make sure every employee uses the same copy and there is no discrepancy in information. Otherwise, it may, results in, it may result in miscommunication or audits failure, which is not good for business at all. Taking into consideration all the points mentioned so far allows us to arrive at a conclusion. It, all of this influences the company's image. A company can be the best in the industry and deliver services of the highest quality, but how well employees speak of the employer really matters. We all know that it's easy to spoil a company's reputation, but hard to restore it. That is why it's really important to invest your time and efforts in your employees. We totally agree with John Kennedy's words that a child miseducated is a child lost. Organizations that invest in staff development certainly have an edge over the competition. Many of the issues listed can be addressed with e-learning. And let me tell you how you can do that and provide you with details. E-learning is not just a way to deliver information. It's an opportunity to establish a new training process that is efficient, cost-effective, interactive, and powerful. E-learning solutions include the authoring tool for creating online courses and quizzes and the learning management system. An e-learning authoring tool is a software program that enables users to create learning content, lessons and courses using text, media and interactions. An LMS, on the other hand, is a software application that allows you to manage the learning process host courses and documentation, manage and automate learning programs, track different kinds of data, generate reports, and much more. Here are some results that some companies were able to achieve with iSpring. 
Uh, BSI in the healthcare industry reduced travel costs by five times. And Forever Direct, a retail company, reduced accidents by 50%. Glasgow Caledonian University trained 1,500 staff and in 12 months and surpassed the, their audit target. Central One Federal Credit Union reduced onboarding time by 50%. And finally, Surgeon Godoy from the tra training industry achieved a 4.8 customer satisfaction rating. That's great. And now we would like to talk about how you can solve the challenges mentioned above with e-learning. Staff turnover. LMS provides learners with relevant, mobile, self-paced, and personalized content. Employees can learn when they wish and according to their own needs 24-7, even without an internet connection, with the help of mobile applications. All right, but what do we do when your employees are bored? To make the learning process more engaging, we can use some interactive elements and gamification. As for costs, when compared to traditional forms of learning, e-learning stands out due to its highly cost-effective nature. This is primarily because expenses incurred with travel, study materials, and accommodations when the training happens in another city, state, or country, for example, these expenses can be reduced. What about knowledge assessment? To check your learner's progress, you can create interactive quizzes and assignments and get results. And audits and certifications. You can create various programs for your employees with the help of learning tracks and web meetings. Paperwork and effort. You can save all your documents and keep them up to date in the knowledge base. All right, and how are we going to deal with the company's image and brand? The good news is that you can maintain your company branding and take advantage, advantage of this up-to-date, all-in-one solution. Our authoring tool is called iSpring Suite Max, and it functions as a PowerPoint add-in. So you can develop your current PowerPoints and insert iSpring Suite interactive elements, like audio and video narrations, quizzes, dialogue simulations, screen recordings, and interactions. Today, we're going to focus on the LMS side. iSpring Learn LMS is an automated training platform that integrates with Zoom and Microsoft Teams, the personal and corporate systems of the company, and allows you to create and publish training that employees can take at work, at home, or on the road. In a few seconds, we will switch to the LMS and show you some of its awesome capabilities. Katie, let me pass the mic over to you. So thanks, Natalie, for that important information. I will be happy to continue with the practical part of the webinar. So we talked about uh, different internal training challenges like turnover, outdated training system, training costs, employees resistance, and much more. Now it's time for us to show you how these can be solved in practice. We are in the iSpring Learn LMS. And first, show you the LMS from the admin perspective. I would like to go step by step so that you can see how the challenges listed above can be solved with iSpring Learn LMS. The first challenge is staff turnover. So what we can do to make our employees feel engaged and not think about leaving the company? In iSpring Learn LMS, you can upload interactive and engaging content from your computer or content that was created with iSpring Suite. I will go to the content section where I can find uh, modules created with iSpring Suite. I can assign them separately to the particular employees or combine uh, the modules into the courses or learning tracks to create specific programs for compliance or onboarding. This will allow your learners to keep the timeline in mind and plan their work and learning time properly. Uh, as our LMS is a cloud-based solution, your employees can access the platform 24-7, even without an internet connection, with the help of our mobile application. Learners can easily download this application um, on the App Store or get, an, um, get it on Google Play. This might be especially helpful if your employees have business trips rather often, so they can learn 
have access to important information and feel engaged at any time. Great. The second challenge is board employees. In this case, gamification will help uh, Will, will keep uh, employees motivated. We all always want to be the best, stronger, faster, smarter, and this gamification element will help them achieve the highest score. As an admin, I can enable gamification in my learning portal in the settings. Let's go to the settings section. Additional options. Yeah, here we have gamification. Right here, we need to first enable gamification in our learning portal and customize the number of points for specific results. For example, right now, our learners can get 10 points for completing courses or, for example, 10 points for attending training. We can select another tab here, which is called badges, and associate badges with various types of events. Let's uh, add a new badge. And all we need is just to write down uh, the title of the uh, badge, its description, we can select the icon of the badge from the list or easily upload the icon from our computer. And what's most important, we need to select the rule when we would like to give this uh, badge to the specific learners. For example, for completed learning items or for, no for a number of points earned. Great. So as an admin, I can also see the leaderboard in the report section. Let's go to reports. So in the report section, I need to find a leaderboard right here. And I can um, see the leaderboard by specific department, or I can select the entire organization. Right now, let's click on the North America team, and let's click Run Report. Right now, I will see the leaderboard. I can use um, these awards for promotion, for example, or as a corporate currency. Okay, so what else um, can we do to make the learning process more engaging? In the iSpring Learn LMS, we can use some interactive elements. There is no doubt that information that is presented in, in interactive form is more welcome. When a course is a mix of media files, knowledge checks, or interactive and interactive content, learners can definitely feel engaged. Also, in uh, iSpring Learn LMS provides learners with flexibility when taking the course at their own pace. Let me show you the sample of such a program. Let's go to the content section and uh, select uh, the specific program. In the outline section, you may find some interactive elements created with iSpring Suite. For example, some interactions, quizzes, and dialogue simulations. Let's preview uh, some interactive elements. Let's click on that. Let's click preview. So here you may find the how the information about the office is presented here. And as a learner, I can find out some more information about my office, the place where we about my workspace, the place where I can have some snacks and coffee, about our company gym, and finally the, the place where I can have some rest. You can also create uh, a glossary with your company terms and simply clicking on the term. Just, let's just wait for a second. So and simply clicking on the uh, term on the left side. So your learners will be able to find out more about um, the description and, uh, so, and, and, and this term. Great. Great, let's close it from here. Also with iSpring Suite, you can develop uh, and cre create role plays. And this role plays will definitely help you to develop communication skills. Let's click quickly preview this dialogue simulation element. Here in this role play, we use some interactive uh, elements, for example, uh, characters and backgrounds from our content library. Sorry, this is also the interactions. Let me quickly show you the dialogue. Yep, here it is. Let's preview. So here we use some characters and backgrounds from our content library. And let's just quickly start. And depending on the learner results, your learners will get, will get customized feedback and also will go to different scenes. Uh, and as the admin, 
in the um, L&D trainer, you can use these role plays for checking your employees' knowledge, for example, and because you can also add some points for correct answers. Great. I assume you will definitely agree with Natalie and me that such a way of presenting information allows us to learn and memorize content easier and faster. The third challenge is knowledge assessment. Sometimes it's really complicated to track your learner's employees' progress. To check your learner's progress in iSprinkLearn LMS, you can create interactive quizzes and assignments and uh, easily get results. Let me show you a quiz created with iSpring Suite. Let's preview that. Yeah, the first slide on this quiz is, introduct is an introduction slide. No? So where we can find out some additional information about this quiz. Let's click Start a Quiz. And the first question is selecting. And here we need to select the correct answer. And I think that would be a sales strategy. After clicking, I will get the feedback uh, up to my answer. And right now I see that this is the correct answer. And even uh, as an admin, I added um, this GIF animated picture here, and it's working great. But if you would like, you can minimize the window with the feedback. Let's click Continue. Right now we'll see that this is the multiple choice question. And I think the best answer here is, of course, Smile. Let's click Submit, and I can see another um, window with a feedback, and that, that's uh, with a different um, in GIF animated picture. Let's click Continue, and right now I think that's false. Let's click Submit. Oh, it's not <laughs> I was mistaken, sorry. And also, um, if, I, uh, if I have chosen the wrong answer, I also get some feedback. Let's click Continue. This is a multiple response question, and right here I need to uh, select the answers. And also from here as the author of the um, software, you can um, take the options, shuffle correct answers, shuffle answers, so that it definitely prevents your learners from cheating. Let's click Submit. Right, great. And this is the matching question here we just easily need to drag drag answers to the right places. Let's click Submit. Great, and we have the feedback. And finally, we have the uh, question, which is the essay type. And right here, we need to write down the essay and also click Submit. So after our quiz is over, so that was the last question. And uh, at this point, as the, as the learner, I can review the quiz and go from the first to the last slide. Great, let's close it right now. As an admin of the LMS, I can also run different types of reports by courses, by learners, by trainings, and the leaderboard. All right, right now, as an admin, I would like to see re the reports um, of the quiz that we have just taken. Let's click, re let's run report by modules, and let's select the quiz that we have just passed. Here we are, let's click Add. And right from here, we need to click Learn and Progress. So here you may see, uh, we may see all the learners that we enrolled to this particular quiz. And simply clicking on the um, status of the quiz, we will see detailed reports on the quiz. Let's select uh, the user. And right now we see uh, the awarded score, number of attempts used, passing score, completion date, how much time this user spent taking the quiz, and even the particular it and, and even all the questions, uh, our user response, number of points, and number of attempts. Great. So, in the LMS, you will see uh, every step of your learners. Right. Let's go back to the LMS. So, okay, let's move on. The fourth challenge is audit and certifications. In iSpring Learn LMS, you can create well-organized training programs and even set up webinars and meetings. We've just seen an example of um, such a program, which is called Sales Onboarding Program. Now I would like you to show uh, the example of the meeting. Right now I will go to the training section, and here I can find all the 
all scheduled events in the LMS. I can see all of them, or I can easily add um, new webinars or meetings. Let's quickly create a new meeting together. All just I need to do is specify the topic of the meeting, select the type that would be a meeting or a webinar, of course, starting date, duration. We can also specify the location, number of participants, let it be this one, and finally, instructor name. Great. Let's click Save. Yeah, of course, definitely after um, every change, we need to click Step, not to uh, lose something very important for us. And after a meeting um, is created, we can fully customize um, the interface, the general information about the meeting. For example, we can add the description. We can change the uh, cover image for the train. Also, uh, our users can be notified uh, before the starting time. R right now, we, ha we have one, re one reminder, and I, I can customize the time. And for example, I would like to remind our uh, learners one day prior to the starting date uh, time, one hour prior to the starting time, and 15 minutes from here. So that my employees or my learners will definitely have no chance to miss this uh, meeting or training. And of course, let's click Save. Also, I would like to focus on one um, important feature. If that strain is not obligatory for attending, we can add the strain to the course catalog so that our learners have the ability to self-enroll to this training. In the completion section, you can set up the option and provide your learners with certificates. And the system will automatically uh, create the, the, the certificate and provide your learners with it um, after meeting is over. And of course, number of points for gamification. Right now, let's go to participants. So what's most important, we definitely need to invite our learners to the event. And from here, we can click Enroll Users, and we can easily type in the name of the particular user, or click on Event Search and um, easily find or select all the users from a specific department, from the specific group, or easily find users with a specific job title. Here we are, great to uh, boost our learners and that means we'll be notified about the event. And if any questions or concerns are right, learners can easily get in touch with the course expert in the chat section and clarify any points needed. So the next challenge is paperwork and effort. Once you decide to switch from traditional learning to e-learning, you will be able to save all your documents and keep them updated in the knowledge base. Let's close it here, and I will go to the knowledge base. Here we are. You can uh, Right here, you can add documents or links. Or you, or you can also uh, combine them into the folders so that your learners are able to find the folder with the documents that they need. And of course, they can access the, these documents 24 seven. And also I would like, would like to focus on uh, our great features. This is choosing a copying method. So now I will show you um, what it is. Right now, let's go to the courses. Let's select the same course that we have just seen, sales onboarding program. If we would like to edit the outline of the course or when creating a new course. Of course, we add uh, the modules. We can upload from our computers or we would, for example, if we would like to choose the module that we already have in the system, in the content list, we need to click select material. And right here, when we select, when we find the material, the, the module that we would like to add to the outline, we can click continue. And right, right here, the system asks us if that would, would be a separate or a linked copy. So how does that work? If we select the linked copy, instead of making changes in every copy of the same document in different courses, you can change the original fine, file and all of its linked copies will be also changed automatically. This definitely saves your time and helps to keep all files updated. All right, and finally, the last challenge. How are we going to deal with the company image and branding? Good news. 
I can maintain your company branding and take advantage of this up-to-date all-in-one solution. Let's quickly customize the e-learning portal together. We can do that in the settings section. Here we have the uh, tab branding. And right from here, you can easily select, choose the color scheme from the list. I can just would like to make it white and even we can customize the color scheme and uh, change the accent color or top panel text and so on. Also, we can uh, add our company logo. Let's do that quickly. And even the favicon. Is done only so in right after changing the favicon we see that the the uh, favicon um, in the tab on our website is also changed great right now let's just quickly change the pictures for the courses section and for the catalog and of course for the login page background so that our learners can see the backgrounds, which is not white, but with a picture. I, I have chosen the GIF picture, so it will be also moving. Yeah, and of course, we definitely need to click Save. So it looks great. So uh, um, there is a huge difference between traditional learning systems and e-learning for both learners and training managers. So companies with training and onboarding programs that are perfectly set up with e-learning have the advantage over those that still use PDFs and PowerPoints. And please see the company logo, color scheme, and well-organized uh, assigned courses. They know this is the place where you can learn, develop, and feel good about that. So I believe at this point you might have a question about the user experience. Let's, let's check. Um, to see how it works from the user perspective. So as uh, I'm, I am a, an admin in the system, I need to, to switch to the user portal. But right now I just would like to log out from the system so that you will see how the first steps um, look for your employees. They just need to click uh, their login and password and click login. T type in their login uh, and password and click login. Here we are, and as an ad admin, I just need to switch from the admin side to the user. Here we are. Right now, I'm the learner in the system. This is my learning profile, and I even uh, I would even call it my private office, the place where I can manage my courses. I can filter them. I can use search bar, for example, I can see my enrolled and completed courses and the status as well. Uh, I can go to my training section and see the same calendar, but only with my events that I was invited to. I can see the catalog and the knowledge base with some courses, materials and reference documents, so that if I have some time and desire to learn more, I can definitely self-enroll to some of the courses or trainings. So the data is available for me 24-7, uh, and I can choose the most convenient time and location. Early in the morning in my kitchen, for instance, to get new knowledge and master new skills before the due date, of course. What's more important is that courses can even be taken offline with the help of mobile app. This is the digital, in digital environment of the 21st century that we all use. As the learner, so a bit of customization for me is not a problem as well. I can change my profile picture here. I can change my profile uh, picture, password, and um, even my profile language. Great, so here we are. And also from here, I can see my all my certificates, leaderboard, and points, uh, points and badges. So great, I hope I was able to show you the advantages of e-learning and how you can benefit from them during onboarding and compliance training. Now we'll be happy to answer your questions. And right now I would like to address one question to you, uh, Katie. Uh, could you please just briefly go over the main difference between iSpring Suites and iSpring Learn? Yeah, of course. Thanks for your question. So iSpring Suite is, a, is, a, the, is an authoring tool for creating online courses. It functions as a, as a PowerPoint editing, 
So it's a desktop software. So once we open iSpring Suite, so right from here, we, we let's wait. So right from here with iSpring Suite, you can quickly select if you would like to create quizzes, simulations, screencasts, interactions, ebooks, or create courses with all of these elements. If we click, if we select courses, let's just open already created. We will see that it would be the PowerPoint add-in. And it's, it's a soft software that allows us to create courses. As for iSpring Learn, uh, as for the LMS, iSpring Learn LMS, it's a cloud-based LMS where you can manage your learners. You can, you will be able to see their results and manage your courses and create programs. Um, so far, we do not have any other questions in our chat. At this point, we are ready to wrap up our session. I would like to thank everybody for coming today and for spending hopefully available 40 minutes with us. And also thanks to Katie and Natalie for providing this information. Thank you so um, much. Thank, thank you everyone. And thank you, Paulina. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much, guys. All right, hope that everyone has a wonderful day and we will see you at the next webinar. Bye everybody, bye Katie and bye Natalie.